Hello everyone. Um, this is in response to the video put out by Thunderfoot, Healthy Addict, and PZ Myers. Um, most especially Thunderfoot. Healthy Addicts, um, I, um, I understand you support your friends. I am surprised that you actually in PZ Myers too. I'm surprised that you went into this without looking at the background of Thunderfoot's throwing out accusations at people. And I'm wondering if Thunderfoot told you the full context in which your video your video clip would be set in. Um you'll see why in a moment. Dawa Films, I have thought, do think, and probably will continue to think that you're a douche who handled this badly. Excuse me. Not feeling well. Um, the thoughtlessness boggles my mind. But not as much as Thunderfoots. Um, although I still think you need to step the fuck off. Where you are, it is a not a good idea to do what you are doing. The laws are different there. It, um, no, stop. Nothing. Shut up. Do you have any brains? Anyhow. Uh, no mosquitoes, but my allergies are kicking the shit out of me. Thunderfoot. Uh, let me see. The name's Tam Tam Pamela. Um, I'm a knock in. Um, a physical conservative. Um, Coughlin. Oh, there's one more. I can't remember, but there are five people in this past calendar year you have accused of something without evidence. You accused Avanakin of censoring for Islam merely on your assertion. You accuse Tam Tam Pamela of being a horrible fundamentalist Christian. She trolled you good. She trolled a lot of people good. You accused Rithin Coughlin of making something, and laid him away, of making that fake uh, dating, uh, gay dating site with your picture shooped onto it. Um, or shoot, shooped picture of you in it. And this is after Silver Era had said he did it. There's a pattern here, and it goes back much further than this, of you making stupid accusations based on nothing and never ever retracting them. Uh, in this case, uh, Ali, actually Ali, uh, he did not threaten you. He made a generalized EP waving statement the same way you made a generalized EP waving statement, and both of you took it as particular, or at least acted like it, and puffed up your chest and acted like fucking idiots. And then in this latest round, he mentions a first name, and he mentions of some fields of study, and yada yada yada. He did not drop your family stocks. Um, if you're talking about the video that's been floating around for well over a year since there have been at least two, maybe three papers published since the list by you, since the list that appears in that video, this video has been all over the place. There are a lot of people who might have wanted to do something as stupid as publish that video. I, I think that was kind of a douchebag stupid thing to do. but. They used one critical piece of information that was provided by you, and it wasn't your name. It was a phone number. It was the phone number tied to the PayPal account that you used to accept donations. It was the number that when called, you answered, giving the name Xavier. Which therefore means that the potentially huge number of people 
who have donated to you, or potentially very small, I personally haven't, nor will I, uh, who have donated you are first on the list to have that number. I somehow don't think Dawa Films would appear on there anywhere. It's possible that he might do so, but fuck if I know. But that is the only, that is the source of your brother's name being dropped, being out there. And that, I have heard that all kinds of stupid shit. I don't want to deal with it anymore. But you are being blind and ignorant to all appearances. So I must ask, since, since you mentioned Anonymous, I would like to know, since you mentioned way back around Chronology, around the, the Lisa McPherson's birthday, you mentioned game theory as part of, if I recall correctly, as part of a necessary strategy, it, something to be incorporated in the stra anonymous strategy against Scientology. So I would like to know, what is the archetypal game we are engaged in now, or you are engaged in with Ali now, or you are engaged in with whoever? And what is the scholarly basis of your strategy? Perhaps you will learn in your frantic attempts to find an answer, if you actually do this, um, that game theory is actually very shitty and unpredictable, or unreliable for predictions, and has a grand total of one major success, that being the Cold War, and that being arguable, arguable, only because game theory was created by a man who was a paranoid, who at the time was a paranoid schizophrenic, which is why its founding propositions sound like the ravings of a paranoid schizophrenic. And it is currently as woo-filled as Deepak Chopra, since you are Right now, the latest craze in game theory is the quantum, quantum game, quantum games, which came out of a paper by a physicist writing about a tongue-in-cheek, almost, letter to a journal about the penny flip problem and how a quantum solution would be eminently possible, but unavailable to us as human beings, and then was taken into game theory and said, oh yes, a quantum solution, any normal human being who used a quantum solution could solve this problem, or could win the penny flip problem every time. I'll link, throw some links down there, if you really want to dig into it. But you are relying, you're relying on Wu, because game theory straight up, all the way down, all the way from Nash, is Wu, all right? It is mental masturbation. And two, you throw around accusations to people which have no basis in fact. And three, you never ever fucking admit you're wrong about anything. And you can keep doing that if you want. But when you drag other people who, when you drag other people in to trumpet your cause, and you're a mendacious prick about it, you're responsible for tarring their reputations too. And that is unacceptable. Thank you for your time and attention.